Normally I make videos about super expensive, overpriced flagship cell phones. You know, durability testing, taking them apart. But every now and then I like to branch out and take an inside look at some weird phones. Today we have the Micro M5, the world's first ultra thin card phone. This little guy can actually fit inside your wallet. This strange phone durability test is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Let's get started. This little M5 is about half as thick as an iPhone. With its pretty lightweight body, textured back, and a startup sound that sounds suspiciously familiar. Nokia's probably not too stoked on that one. With the consistent buzz of social media and the internet these days, sometimes it's just nice to chill out with a simple phone. It's got a phone book, makes phone calls with its internal SIM card, and it also has Bluetooth, so it can act as a camera remote or a Bluetooth speaker for your main phone even though it does have that SIM card tray and can be a phone all by itself. It does have a calendar, which is honestly pretty much worthless, and there is a very disturbing lack of pre-installed games. It honestly looks more like a calculator than it does a cell phone. But would you look at that? It actually does fit inside a wallet. With a four-day standby life and costing less than $20, it's actually not too shabby for a backup phone. This is only, of course, if it ends up being durable. You know the drill. We treat all phones equally around here. We start with the Mohs scratch test. Each pick has a different material on the tip and lets us know the hardness level of the display material. And as we can see, the pressure is immediately evident on the display. And we start seeing scratches at a level three. This means the screen's surface is made from plastic. Glass would start scratching at a level six. Plastic seems to be the theme of this phone, running down the sides. Down at the bottom, we have an old school micro USB port, along with a mute switch and a little flap covering up the SIM card tray, all made from plastic. There is no headphone jack at the top, which basically makes this guy a premium flagship or something at this point. Removing the headphone jack seems to be the cool thing to do these days. The whole front side of the phone seems to be laminated with the same piece of plastic material that's covering the screen. No button cracks or crevices to collect dust, which is nice. Black plastic covers both sides of this credit card size cell phone. It's a rather small canvas on the back, but I think I can make it work. I guess you could say it's a canvas for ants. Scientists currently estimate there are around 10 quadrillion ants on planet Earth right now. Which means that if the ants all suddenly got together to wage war on the humans, each of the seven billion human beings would be left to fight one million ants, each, all by yourself. That'll give you something to think about tonight. You've probably heard the phrase, money burning a hole in your wallet. But what would happen if your wallet literally caught fire with your phone inside? Thumbs up for that smooth transition. If your wallet starts on fire with your cell phone inside, you better put it out quick. Cause this one inch TFT LCD screen turned white after about 10 seconds. It's an older style display, like we used to see in watches or the old Game Boys, but the screen did still end up working after the flame was removed and mostly recovered from the heat. Not too shabby. Since this little guy is designed to fit inside of a wallet and wallets are usually sat on, it's time to see how structurally sound the M5 mini phone really is. The first bend showed a substantial amount of flex and the top of the screen started slipping loose from the back housing, but it's still alive. Bending from the back, it has a little bit less of a flex, but the ant and our phone are still doing just fine. During the second bend from the front, the back housing started to lift away even more. But even with that back housing coming loose, the phone is still fully functional. There are no external screws holding the two halves together, but the fit is still extremely snug and requires quite a bit of force to separate, mostly catching on that micro USB port down at the bottom. Without the back panel in place, the phone is now even more thin, we can see that the battery is what's adding most of the thickness, all 320 milliamp hours of it. It also looks like there's a hidden SD card slot inside of this phone. I can't think of a real reason to have one of these. There is no external access, and it's not like there are any pictures or music to store on here. Inside, there's also a circular coin-style vibrator, the top loudspeaker earpiece, and the bottom microphone that's aimed out of a tiny hole in the front of the phone. Pretty crazy stuff. Nothing can be taken off or repaired, but you know, it's 20 bucks and it's still alive. So I can't complain too much. Wanna know what else I can't complain about? Dollar Shave Club's $5 starter kit. 
Huge thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Razors at the store are usually, you know, pretty expensive. Dollar Shave Club is a place online that cuts out the middleman and sells razors for pretty cheap. For five bucks, you get a starter kit sent straight to your door. This includes the hefty executive razor handle, four razors, and some shave butter, all for cheaper than what you can buy it for at the store. And it's delivered to your door on your own schedule. Dollar Shave Club has all kinds of stuff. You can toss in things like a toothbrush or hair products, if you're into that kind of thing. And after the $5 starter box, a restock box will come with regular sized products at the regular price. But if being clean isn't your thing, you can quit whenever you want. I'll leave a link down in the description, or you can just go to dollarshaveclub.com slash jerryrig to get started. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Would you ever want to own one of these credit card phones? Let me know down in the comments, and let me know if there's any other weird phones you want to see tested. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.